Well, they got pulled over. I wonder why. Oh my goodness, they got a cop there, a cop there, and a cop there. New whole, whole line of cops, man. So what I want to talk about in this video is the, the new Ninja 400, man. What I think about it, if I would ever get one. So let's get right into it. So let's start with the fact that the Ninja 400 just got more power. It is lighter. Than his little brother that is about the same price. So, uh, <laughs> the fact that they went up in power, bigger motor, and it's lighter, that is. That is an amazing combination. And it seems like it's got pretty good suspension. And where I see it really doing well is with the beginner market. Because the problem with beginner bikes is that you grow out of them so quickly. But you also don't want them to be overpowering so you don't have people crashing all over the place. I think right there, that's the sweet spot. 400, 500. Cause you've got that highway power. I saw on a video, on a, the guy on the track was going 120. I'm like, that's, that's bloody, man. Because <laughs> when you drop down to a 250, oh my god. Uh, at least the 250, the CBR 250, since it was just a single cil cylinder. It was horrible on the highway, man. almost a crash you'd have to use your momentum and then always always go fast because you couldn't throttle out of anything with this seems like you've got some power there but it's not crazy power and it's not revving out like a 600 so does seem like it has a nice grunt, just enough to be fun for, for a while. And not just for beginner people, people that do track days. Because it's what, 372 pounds, lighter than the 300, which is crazy. So flickable. Once you're under 400 pounds, man. So flickable. Because this bike right here, 600, it's flickable, but it's still 450 pounds wet. So. I do find when I'm running out of gas, it's more flickable, though. <laughs> I also think. It's perfect. It's a perfect track day bike. Because you're not spending that much money on it. Probably get tires cheap. Oh, 
so much about laying it down because <laughs> me taking my, my R1 to the track, I'm scared shitless to drop that thing. Now, if you had a 400, you're not you're not worried about ten, twelve thousand dollars being dropped. More like three, four thousand. It's not as bad to to swallow. And it's also lighter, so when you do go down, the damages will be much, much less. So would I ever get a 400? It's very tempting to get a 400. The only thing that would be that, that's stopping me really is I don't need another track bike. This is my track bike. It's what I feel comfortable on the track. And I I bought this cheap, so basically similar price of a 400 and I have fun with this on the track so if you if you are looking to do track days I, yeah you could pick up a brand new 400 or you could get something used only thing with used is you don't know where it's been if it's been raped or not I love this bike on the track, man. R1 scares the shit out of me. <laughs> A couple times on the track when I just came in way too hot on the R1. Right here, the 600. Plus this, <laughs> I mean, it does everything a 400 would do and better. It's got more power. I mean, I'm I'm not a beginner, so hopping on my 600. I don't know. It's it's just a great all-around all bike. There's there's really no reason for me to just drop down unless I'm just really really wanting to have a flickable bike, which this is flickable enough for me. Technically, the R1 is lighter than this bike, but for some reason, I feel like it's. It feels lighter. I don't know if it's the the power of the bike or something. The uh, inertia going into corners, but this is a fun bike. Even though freaking R6 is. Uh, Way more power compared to this. It's down on power, man. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Doggy ears, doggy ears. That was funny. Uh, wish I had gotten a better look at that guy. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
So, the last thing is, do I think that this, the Ninja 400, is a good beginner bike? I think it's a, I think it is a great beginner bike. Great. Because you've got enough power so you don't grow out of it so quickly, but you don't have so much power that it's too much. And I think a lot of people will disagree with me on that a little bit, but I basically started on a 500 and I didn't think that that was too much power. It definitely, I got into some situations, but it wasn't so bad. But it was nice, I could go on the highway, I could pretty much do whatever I wanted, I'd go on longer rides. And that was great to be able to do that on one of my first bikes. It wasn't limited. Like a 250, like the CBR 250, the single. Now, like the Ninja 250s, they were uh, parallel twins, I believe. So, you have a, a higher top speed, which helps. Because I heard those things went over 100. Freaking CBR 250. You'd have to be going downhill just to hit 90. Horrible. beginner out there you'll have fun with it and I think it's a bike that you probably will keep for a long time because even if you upgrade you'll probably still keep it because it's a great alternative for for the track because you won't care about it so much It is a great bike to add to the stables for, for people that have a bunch of bikes. Only reason I'm not really thinking about getting one is if I had a blow it budget, yeah sure. But I do not have a blow it budget. Not yet. That's the goal. basically my street bike and my track bike and this is technically my track bike but the R1's in the shop so this is what I got so that's pretty much it hopefully you enjoyed this uh, episode of I don't know. Let's talk about bikes. Yeah. Let's call it that. So, hopefully you liked the, the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't hit that little bell thing, smash it like a bounce. So whenever I upload, you will see it updated with all the new stuff that I'm doing. Till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuce.